I'm going to show you a bolo. It's not a big money bolo, but for what it is, you're going to be surprised how much I got for it, I think. Okay, can you say bolo? Bolo! Look at the cuteness. And I've never seen one like this. That's why I priced it really high. I just want to say I got really, really lucky. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have a vlog style video for you. It's a what sold. I'm going to tell you what sold. And some of these items uh, going to be unexpected. One of them, you're going to be like, are you kidding me? And I'm also going to show you some plush that I got from a viewer. Um, she needed it out of her house ASAP. And I went and picked it up. And I'm going to unbag that for you guys. So we're going to check out how I listed everything. So I'm going to pop up screen shares of everything that I've gotten listed so far. So thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's get started. Guess what I just had? A viewer sale! And her eBay store is Hot Toys Summer in the City. So what a fun, cool name to say. Hot Toys. No, I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to show you what she purchased. So let's go find it. All right, you guys, so she was watching my video, my Goodwill Ben's video today, and she saw this item, and she decided to come and make me an offer. So, uh, very, very awesome. It is a dinosaur right here, and watch this. It's so cool. <gasps> he screams, and his eyes light up. And the funny thing is, I picked up one of these the other day again at the Goodwill Bins. Always pick up these dinosaurs. They are awesome. Um, I took a best offer of $15 on this, and the buyer paid tax and shipping. Okay, hot toys somewhere in the city. She doesn't have too much listed, not yet. But definitely follow her store and watch for new items to come up. And just a special thank you for your purchase. I really, really appreciate it. And I don't always show stores if somebody makes a purchase, but I just happened to be on here. And I'm getting her item all packaged up. And I've got a little thank you for supporting my small business. And if I know that it's somebody who watches my channel, if I have some owl stickers, I'll pop one of those on there just because uh, that's kind of my thing. I love owls. So... This is coming your way, and I'm going to put it here, and oh, I might have to get it. I'm going to have to get a bigger box. It's not going to fit, so I got to grab a bigger box. But anyway, how cute is that little owl? Hoo, hoo. So if you guys ever make a purchase from me, always let me know. Like, if you make an offer, um, just say Bola Buddies or something like that. And then I also have that coupon code that is down in the description. If you don't want to make an offer and you prefer to just use the uh, Bola Buddies coupon code, that is uh, down below, and I think it's 20% off your purchase with the code Bola Buddies. but double check the description for that. Thank you again so much for your purchase. I really appreciate it. I also received a message from another viewer who wanted all of these awesome items, and I am bundling this up for her on Poshmark, and she will make the purchase over there. So I just got to get it packaged up and ready to go so she picked out these items so there's still a lot left you guys go check out that video if you see anything you want um, send me screenshots and an offer and we'll get it worked out here's my tie tote and look at this king kong i cannot believe this has not sold yet it is incredible but anyway i've got some dunk dynasty listed the number one rule is there are no rules. Anyway, I just sold three ties. One, two, and three. Um, they offered me $27, and I went ahead and took that. And this was a Poshmark sale. And these ties have been listed a long time. Uh, one thing I will say about ties is they are very long tail for me. I don't know if it's just me. And I don't have a lot of luck with them. Maybe if I had more in my store. I don't know. I feel like I have quite a few in my store. Maybe it's the brands I'm selling but they seem to take a long time to sell. So what's nice about Poshmark is people bundle. So they bundled all three of these and then they will get one shipping price for all of them. 
Here's the first item. This is by Fiesta. It is Systems Island. It's from 2018. It is an adorable little pineapple. It's kind of big, actually. All right, we have this little guy. And it looks like it's a peekaboo bear. Um, no tush tag. I don't know if it works or not. We'll have to... It works. Maybe. It might need a battery. Definitely needs a battery. But looks like it's going to work. Cute, cute, cute. So somebody probably just cut the tush tag off. No big deal. Crazy Paws. It's a dog toy. Honk me. Oh, there it is. So, put that up because it's kind of like a Christmas dog toy. All right, uh, we got a big guy in here. You ready? Oh, my goodness. It's a sock monkey. And it's not a little one. It is a massive sock monkey. A um, little dirty, probably just from, I mean, it's still got the original tag, but... I think she got most of her items at thrift stores. So Cuddly Classics Sock Monkey. Um, Dandy International. Let's see if he's got a tush tag. Just says Sock Monkey. Dandy. I was hoping to get a date. No date. But he is, or she, I guess. I don't know what it is. Either or. Unisex. Monkey there. All right. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this is cool. This is a uh, Disney Plains tag has been cut off, but that's okay. Um, I recently just sold How to Train Your Dragon, and I just put unbranded because I wasn't sure. I may be able to use Google Lens and figure it out. These are a little bit tweaked up. I don't know if I'll be able to get those to lay back down or not, um, so I'll have to play around with that. We'll see. Um, okay, so I've received a few more comments in some of my videos about plush being long tail. And yes, plush can be long tail, just like I just talked about ties for me can be long tail. But if I pick them up cheap enough, I just list it and forget it. Um, if I remember correctly, those ties, oh my goodness, they have probably been listed five, six, maybe seven years um, I got them at a bag sale at Gabriel Brothers. I think it's now Gabe's and they had like sidewalk sales and you could dig through and fill a bag for, I don't remember how much it was, but I probably had anywhere from 10 cents to 25 cents in those ties. And I had multiples of all of those. So I'm getting down to the end of, uh, my tie pile, but they are long tail. They take a while to sell, but they're easy to ship. They're easy to list and I just list it and forget it. So um, I think the more items you get into your store, the less you worry about how quick things sell, and a sale is a sale. So keep that in mind. I got $27 for the three ties, my profits on that. I mean, probably a less than a dollar for all three, so that's incredible. And definitely, in my opinion, worth the wait. And I have sold those ties over and over. They were multi-quantity ties, so that does make a difference as well. We're heading over to tote eight. I'm guessing this one is going to be bubble wrapped already because it is a breakable. It came in a thrift store mystery box and it is a department 56 sled. And it's, this is the dreaded tote for me because everything is like, I have it in here a certain way. I want all of this to stay really nice. Look at these vintage, um, they're vintage napkins and paper plates and they're super, super cool. Uh, so I want to just make sure I protect those. But I am looking for a sleigh. I don't know if it's like a candy dish. I wonder if I boxed it. No, that's an ornament. Oh, there it is. It's already bubble wrapped. So I will pop up a screenshot to show you guys what this looks like. It came out of a thrift store mystery box. And again, I don't do tons of breakables. But now that I'm on whatnot and I'm starting to get like more comfortable with it, I'm like thinking I need to do more breakables because guess what? Breakables sell. It's right here sold for $18.60 plus the buyer paid tax and shipping.
Right, we're going over here to tote 41. This came from an estate sale. I paid uh, 50 cents for it. Another full tote, but I see him right here. It's this little Elmo. And let's see if I can get this popped open. Yes, I sold him for $9.30. And again, estate sale, 50 cents for this little guy. Hello. All right, I literally just listed this the other day. It's Mary and Joseph um, from a nativity set. And I sold this for $15.50 plus tax and shipping. And I uh, got this at the Goodwill bins. That video has not posted. So that will post in, it'll probably be a while because I just happened to pull these out of the bag and I'll be doing other bags before I get to those bags because I knew these would probably sell because of it being close to Christmas. So I was right, $15.50 plus shipping. This next item sold for $16.74 plus shipping. And this is like a little computer, Thomas the Train. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery box. So um, yeah, it is a little toy for a kid. And mystery boxes, you know, usually my cost of goods is Depending on how many items I end up keeping from the box can be anywhere from $2, a dollar, maybe less. Uh, really, again, it just depends. But this little guy sold hmm, not super quick, but I'm happy with it. This next item is one item I just keep telling you guys, you got to buy it if you see it because they sell, 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 sell. And I'm going to turn my camera around here and I'm going to show you what it is. Here, these scrapbook pages. I sold both of these $22 each going to the same buyer. Bam. Uh, these are definitely a bolo item. Creative memories. Anytime you can find it and get it for a good price, that stuff sells like hotcakes. Paid a dollar each for these at a garage sale and flipped it into $44 plus shipping. We have this guy, another monkey, super cute. Oh, he's so soft. Um, Nothing on him, but he is really soft. He is made by, Co is it Koala Baby? Man, that is small print. Yeah, Koala Baby. Cute. Huh. He's got beans in his butt. Beans in his butt. He's just like hanging out, chilling out, like what's up? Okay. We have a cow. This is Little Brownie. Um, I have found that Little Brownie is not a brand that I want to source. Um, it's like Girl Scout stuff, I do believe. Like, I don't know if they get them as awards for selling cookies. But these things, uh, maybe as the years pass, they'll get more collectible and people will look for them. This one's 2015, 2016. But so far, I have not had any luck selling Little Brownie. Have never seen a cow. Maybe the cow's worth more. We'll find out. I have this little lady right here. She's kind of like a little rag doll, cloth doll. She is by Commonwealth, 1991 there. So she's kind of cute. She's got some yarn hair going on. Never seen anything like that. Embroidered face. We have, oh my goodness, look at the cuteness. It's a whale. It's a little bit dirty. I'll have to spot cleaner. Actually, I'll probably just throw this one in the washing machine. This one's Kohl's Cares. I've told you guys before, I don't pick up a lot of Kohl's Cares, but um, the Rebel reseller digs Kohl's Cares. So, All right, this horse sold for $26.40 plus shipping. And I know you guys know about Briar, um, very popular horse brand. Some can go in the hundreds of dollars. This is not Briar. This is called Heartland, and it is a plastic horse, hard plastic, hollow horse. It is uh, marked on the inside of the leg as you can see right there and right there. And that's a nice little bolo. It did take a little bit to sell, but um, I am super happy with that. Um, if I remember correctly, this came from a garage. So I bought a huge lot of, um, it was a big box of just horse, ho horses and, you know, little horse things. I think I did um, over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies or my reseller testing Bolo products channel, a live show where I was listing these. And, um, yeah, this is one of the items. 
Nice little bolo. This is a nativity and I'll pop up a screenshot because I've already bubble wrapped it. But this is also from a viewer who watched my mystery box unboxing and she messaged me, said she was interested and would like to make me an offer. I accepted her offer and I'm popping up the screenshot of what it looks like. I did $20 free shipping on this. Over here to the media, I sold a Shrek. A Shrek DVD on... Oh, it's way down here, I think. Is that it? Yep, it's way down there. It's on the very bottom. I try to keep all my media like right here. Um, it's Shrek 2, actually. Uh-oh, is that Shrek 2? Yeah, Shrek 2. And it's new and sealed, and I don't remember where I got it. Um, but I sold this on Mercari. So sometimes things that are flooded, like on eBay, they can do better on Mercari because there's not as many listed. So keep that in mind if you're only selling on eBay. Think about selling on Poshmark and Mercari. I do have referral links down below. If you click on those and join, you're going to get $10 to shop on Mercari. Once you sell another $100, um, they're going to give you another $20 to shop. So those referral links are down below. But let me tell you what I sold this for. $16 free shipping. So I will ship this media mail. I may even bump this up to first class just because somebody may be trying to get this by Christmas. So that's probably what I'm going to do is just do it first class and eat the extra buck or two, whatever it is, and get this out ASAP. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of these express dresses and I actually have an offer on Poshmark right now that I forgot to respond to because Poshmark I don't always see my alerts when I have an offer and they're like, did you get my offer? And I'm like, whoopsie. So I went and checked. They offered me $15. I have it listed, I think at 20 something and I had offered them an offer of 19. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. My cost of goods for this was about $3. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept their offer of $15 for this dress. I have others available in my store. This was another big multi-quantity deal. Um, that I picked up at Discount Fashion Warehouse. It's a store that sells clothing. I think these were actually a dollar. Um, they were $10, 90% off when I picked these up. But what I did is I would take everything that I purchased that day and I would divide out the number of items by my total cost of goods and get an average per item, which was usually about $3. So I guess I can say I either have a dollar or three dollars in this, however you want to look at it. If you notice, I have on my Bolo Buddy shirt again because I absolutely live in these sweatshirts. I have my leggings with my cell phone pockets. I wear black leggings and I wear my Bolo Buddy sweatshirts all the time. I have like six of them. I just rotate them. So uh, you will see them in my videos quite often, especially when I'm just doing shipping videos like this because this is what I pretty much wear around the house during the day when I'm just getting stuff done. Just another Bolo Buddy shirt. <laughs> anyway, I sold this one for $10.43 and Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger, is so excited for me because she loves selling Tupperware. And I picked this up in a mystery box from Auctions for You and I'm gonna show it to you. And the buyer paid shipping. All right, it's in tote 43. How hard is it gonna be to find? And this mystery box that I got from Auctions for You. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But I still need to finish listing the stuff. Here it is. Here it is, this little piece right here, $10.53. And Noelle said it's some special uh, piece that was only sold, I think she said at parties. So I'm going to try to pop up her Instagram post for you guys to see because she makes an amazing Instagram post. If you're not following her on Instagram, oh my goodness, you definitely have got to go follow her on Instagram and YouTube, of course. Um, she is a major bolo finder, but um, you just got to sub her up. It tells the information on the bottom. One thing great about Tupperware, you see that number? You can research that number and search solds super easy with that. So if you ever find Tupperware, that's how you figure out what it is. Hey guys, so um, I'm going to bubble wrap it just to keep it safe. They're all in for $20.93 and I'm like, what is going on? But the reason is, is they have upgraded it to priority mail. And I'm guessing that is probably because uh, they want it by Christmas. So I'm going to get this shipped out ASAP. And this is considered a pink coffee scoop, <laughs> in case you're wondering 
what on earth is that? So uh, pretty cool Tupperware item. There's more Tupperware items in that box that I need to get listed. So stay tuned for that unboxing video. Again, I picked that mystery box up from Auctions For You. That's her YouTube channel. Her and Donna Talabatolino go live and they sell items on YouTube. So definitely check them out if you are looking for inventory. Here's another mailer I don't talk about much. Um, it's great for shipping things, and you can also get this one free on USPS.com. Um, I'm going to fold it up and just show you what it looks like folded. All right, so there it is. So it's about that big. It's a great box. And I'm just going to pop that right in there, and it's ready to go. Um, it's just a very, very, usually bread and butter item. Maybe she'll do a category video on Kohl's Cares. This is a uh, dog. It is made by uh, Hammer Best, I think it is. Let me look. I always have to look at the back of the tack. Homer Best, because it's in cursive and it's hard to read. Homer Best. So there's that. And then we have these right here. Oh, goodness me. Let me get this big guy out of here. He is a Santa, but he's a draft guard. So these go in front of your door. Um, I don't know who it's made by. Let's see. Bath and Body. Or ba Bath, Bed, Bath and Beyond. Sorry. Uh, originally $14.99. Removable shelf for easy care. So this would be a great time to list this. It says Morgan Home. But it was sold at Bath and, uh, Bed, Bath and Beyond. So I got one of those little Santa guys. I think I have another one. Let's see. Yep, we got another one, and they're identical. So that'll be a multi-quantity, easy to list, and great timing for that. This is a pizza hat. <laughs> if anybody wants to be a pizza, you know where to come. I've got one in my eBay store. All right, this is made by, um, I don't know. It's just cheap, guys. And I will just price it cheap, but somebody might want to be a pizza head. Uh-oh. Nope, that's how it looks. Pizza head. Hmm. And we have another Santa. We have a TY. This guy. I don't know what kind of thing that is. Does it say? Does it say on his tush? He is a says beak. Yeah, he's definitely got a beak. All right, we're back in this tote room and I sold a music box and yep, that's it. So music box, I've already got this packaged and ready to go. It's in there securely um, with bubble wrap and everything. When I have breakables and I'm not sure what the weight and size of the box is going to be, I will package them ahead of time. The only time I run into problems is would be if somebody would bundle an item, then I would have to unpackage this and start over. But uh, typically on harder to find items like this, this is not going to happen. So I just want to say I'm super excited that, that I don't have to do anything but put a label on this. Woohoo! I don't have to bowl wrap it. I don't have to find a box. It's ready to go. So the work was done when I listed it. That's the great thing about it. I also wanted to talk to you guys about that Tupperware piece that I sold. Zero feedback. The person had zero feedback. And I know a lot of people will block people with zero feedback. I do not block people with zero feedback. I have zero feedback buyers all the time. Now, I think if you have a new eBay store, you're more inclined to get people that are spamming you and... Um, telling you to text numbers, like that doesn't happen to me on eBay anymore. They, I think they target newer sellers. So be careful with that. If you are a new seller, don't fall for it. But um, I think having zero feedback buyers is completely fine. Most of mine pay. Every now and again, one doesn't pay. But that also happens with people that have thousands of feedback. They just don't pay, just randomly. So um, I, I just, I don't feel like you should block somebody just because they have zero feedback. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Music Box Buyer now has two feedback and I'm one of them. So again, a newer buyer. People are buying Christmas gifts right now. So, you know, they may not be a person that's been on eBay for a long time. So don't lose out on those buyers. Um, 
I forget what I was going to say. Something about this music box, I think. Err, this is the I forget face. Darn it. Darn it. Oh. oh, I got this at a garage sale for $5. I don't know if I told you guys that. <laughs> okay, can you say Bolo? Bolo. I just sold an elf. A knee hugger elf. I'm super excited about this one. It came from an estate sale and it was, I believe it was the estate sale buyout that I've been working on. I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't mark what I paid for it. So that's what I'm assuming. But guess which toad it's in. Dun, dun, dun. This toad again. This toad again. Oh, the toad I have to, that has all the fragile, amazing, cool stuff in it. I don't even know where I put it. Did I box it? I sold it for $73 plus shipping. I hope I have that thing protected. Oh my goodness. I just might not, who knows? Sometimes I'm good about that and sometimes I am not. You guys wanna watch with me? Or should I turn the camera off? And hide my failures. Should I hide my failures? Oh my goodness. Where is it? Where are you, cutie little elf? It is the cutest elf ever. If I can find it, I will show it to you. It's got all the puff the mat. Is that puff the magic dragon? I don't remember who it is. But look, new old stock. So cute. Where are you, elf? Oh my goodness. It's MIA. If I lost the $73 elf, I might cry. I just might cry. Wow. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> I didn't think it was this tiny. I forgot. It's so tiny. Look how cute it is, though. Oh, my goodness. Let me get it out of the bag. Look at the cuteness. And I've never seen one like this. That's why I priced it really high. It was on sale for $93, and somebody offered me $73, and I said... Yes, I will take your offer of $73 for this cute little elf. I just want to say I got really, really lucky. I just sold an item and I forgot to put where it was on the custom SKU. And when you have 7,000 listings to remember where something is, let's just say it's impossible. But for some reason, I remembered where this item was <laughs> and I am so happy. I'm like, I think it's in this tote. And I just went and I looked and it was in the tote. These are little animal magnets and I sold these for $10. Um, they're just made in China. There's like an, uh, a, a, I'll pop up a screen share, but there's like an elephant playing soccer and they're really, really cute. I've had them a really long time. So uh, $10 is what they sold for. So not a big money bolo by any means, but I don't even remember where I got them or what I paid for them. Uh, probably picked them up at a garage sale, super, super cheap. So these are going out. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the Pixie Elf that I just sold for $73. Um, I will do the pirate ship thing on that uh, where I use pirate ship to add insurance to a first class package because it is way cheaper. I've talked about that before, so I don't think I need to do it again, but um, I will be doing that on that item. A little praying lamb, that's cute. That'd be great for Easter. It says on the feet, glad, glad. The hands don't open. Tush tag has been removed, so I can try Google Lens on that. And that's it. So I put on some makeup for you guys. And now it's a hot mess because I just watched Rachel Strickland's video. This is what it looks like. Go watch it. This girl has a heart of gold. And she is an amazing person. Please go and subscribe to her and definitely watch this video.
All right, this one's going out to Faith. I've got um, a bundle from my video that I shared of items that I had left over from whatnot. Some of the items had been shown, some of the items I never got to, and she picked out some stuff she wanted, and I posted that on Poshmark for her. So that's going out. Thank you so much, Faith, for your purchase and for coming over to my whatnot shows and supporting me over there also. I really appreciate you. All right, the next item I sold is a pair of joggers. These are men's express joggers. I've probably sold, oh my gosh, a hundred pair of these. This is what I have left. Um, they are numbered and I actually found the number I need, 61. When I used to do clothing inventory and I'd have things that were the same, I would tag them with numbers to help me find them. And then I would use this as my inventory number inside my listing. So I'm looking for number 61. These just sold on Poshmark for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. They are a jogger style. Um, so you can see the waist and how they're smaller at the bottom, tapered. And yeah, $17 on Poshmark. Cost of goods, approximately $3 for these. They are new with tags. I do have others available in my eBay store and on Poshmark. And I think I even have them on Mercari, so. There you have it. If you guys are not following me on Whatnot, I would love it if you would come over and join me over there. I am Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. There's a link down below in the description. If you click on that link, you will get, um, if you haven't joined and you're new to Whatnot, you will get $15 to shop. Free money. I love free money. Um, and you can spend that on my auction or anyone's auction. It's just $15 for you to spend. So if you use my referral link down below, you can get that. And you can also use that link if you want to bookmark one of my shows or if you just want to follow me on whatnot. So I hope to see you at a show. Even if you don't buy and you just come hang out in the chat, I would greatly appreciate seeing all of you. All right, this next item is in tote 43. <laughs> Trying to remember where tote 43 is. Here it is. Okay. This item came from a T-Bowl box that I got from Auctions For You. That's basically a reseller box. And it's a little outfit. I believe this is it. And I will pop up a screen share so you guys can see what it looks like. It's a doll outfit. And I sold that for $8.50 plus shipping. So if you notice the way I'm trying to whisper because my husband told me the other day that he could hear me so well that it sounded like I was upstairs in our bedroom when I'm downstairs in the basement just below our bedroom. Okay, this next item is in tote 12 right here. And I actually sold this once and then the person sent me a really strange um, message saying that they hoped it worked with their item and if it didn't, blah, blah, blah. Um, because it's one of those that works with another item. I think it has a snowman that it goes with. And they were just kind of nasty about it. And whenever that happens, it's kind of a red flag for me that I'm probably going to get a return. Thankfully, they requested to cancel the order. And I was happy to, to cancel the order. Because I don't want to deal with people who are already like predetermined that the item is not what they're looking for. It was definitely a case of buyer's remorse. So they did not buy it. But I just sold it again. Um, for $13 plus shipping to someone else. This little guy came out of the Goodwill bins. So he does have a push button. And again, I believe he connects to a snowman and he is Avon. All right, we're going over here to tote GG. This is another bread and butter bolo. Um, it's a plush also, and I'm actually shocked that it sold so quickly. Um, it's this banana monkey here. And I sold it for a best offer of $9.00. And the buyer paid shipping and I also got this little cutie out of the Goodwill bins. So super cute little plush. You know, sometimes you just have what people are looking for. Is plush long tail? Yeah, sometimes. And sometimes it sells really quick. Just make sure you're pricing it right, looking at comps, and it will sell. Just like anything else. Some things sell fast, some things sell slow, and I just say list it and forget it. Okay, you guys are going to love this one. You are going to love this one. You are going to love this bolo. Just saying. You ready for it? I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera. I should be looking over here. That is so tricky. It's so tricky. I see people do it all the time and I was just doing it. 
Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you a bolo. It's not a big money bolo, but for what it is, you're gonna be surprised how much I got for it, I think. All right, first we gotta find tote 27. Where are you, tote 27? I feel like you're right over here. And there you are. All right, let's see if we can find it. this out of the way. Whoa, that was really loud. So much for not waking up my husband. Okay, I think I found it. Oh, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Um, hold on, let me open it up. Nope, that wasn't it. Here it is. Here it is. It's the one with the reindeer. And this one is not a regular handkerchief. Let me show it to you here got this out of a Christmas mystery box and it's kind of a hot mess. Um, it is Eddie Bauer and if I remember correctly, it's vintage. Let me see here. Made in Japan. And it does have like a, the uncut look to it, but it's a pretty cool item. And I ended up selling this for $30, $30 and the buyer paid shipping. So just a really cool handkerchief there. And again, always look for tags on your items, okay? You guys, I sold another plush. I just went out and I started to ship and I got an offer on Poshmark for this uh, Minecraft spider. If I remember correctly, I think I got it at the Goodwill bins. I'll have to look, but um, it's missing its tush tag. But I felt like because it was Minecraft that it would still sell, and it did. Um, I took an offer of $11 on that just because the tag was cut. And I know it's probably a Christmas gift for someone, and I went ahead and took it. So $11 plus shipping on this going out on Poshmark. All right, Bolo Buddies, let me know in the comments which Bolo was your favorite. I have a good guess and thanks for watching.